Welcome back to Delmarva Sports Insider. We take things now to the campus, the GOAT campus, uh, the Harvard the of the Mid-Atlantic, right? Uh, Salisbury <laughs> Women's Lacrosse hosting Southern Virginia today. Yep. And uh, Lindsey Wagner uh, on the first goal right here in the first half. Seagulls getting it started pretty quickly. Yeah. And then uh, one of the best lacrosse names, Maddie Mazzioni with the Do pass it. right there to Hannah Young. And she's in front for the goal. Free position goal here coming by Martha Hutzel right before the half. That ended the half. And then in the second half, uh, Emily McQuay. Nice. Ooh, that, excuse me. That was Emily McQuay right there. A and a nice pass to Hannah Klingman on for the goal. SU would go on to beat Southern Virginia 18 to 1. 18 goals. How about it? <laughs> Most SU has scored so far this season. No defense for Southern yeah, Virginia. Yeah, that is quite a tally. Now let's head on over to baseball. The Gulls facing Southern Virginia. Double play here by SU in the top of the third. To get out of a jam, the runners were on first and second in the bottom of the third. Then Simon, Simon Palinshar rips one down Palinshar. the first baseline. Catcher Matt Padway comes in to score. Later in the third inning, Colby Dean bombs one to deep that center for so a good. double. Nice hit there, Jack Berry. Be a goal. Crosses home plate. <laughs> He's a goal. I'm sorry. And a few more runs in the third. Kevin Dean rips a single to the right side as another run comes on in. SU would score eight runs in the third inning. They rolled to win 14 to three. That is quite a third. And there's a reason why I'm celebrating how good Salisbury University baseball is doing because Maryland Eastern Shore baseball, not off to a great yes. start right now. 0-13 on the road. So good thing uh, they got the bus on and rolling and returned home to face Norfolk State today. And they got home, things not so great here either. Top of the first, Justin mm -hmm. Burrell of uh, Norfolk State gonna double to left. Andre Moore, come on down to make it one to nothing. In the second, UMES catcher Dom DeBlasi with a great throw right there to nail a runner at second base. So you saw the good catcher. Uh, here is the bad catcher. <laughs> a little bit later on in the inning, DeBlasi going to overthrow do, right? uh, the second baseman. And check this out. The runner is not stopping oh, at third. Gosh, He's going all the way you. home. Three to nothing for Norfolk State. And they would just pile it on. Stephen Bond going to double to left. Three runs score as the juices, the bases were juiced in that one in the fifth inning. UMS falls at Ooh. home today by a final of 10 to 4. So oh. like I said, there's a reason why I'm celebrating how good my goals are doing. Everybody can't say they're as fortunate. They'll get it together. But yeah, that play at second base from home plate definitely cost him. <laughs> yes, I agree. All right, that's it uh, for our college stuff. When we get back, we are talking uh, a lot of baseball. Bryce Harper and the Nationals up next. My name is Doug Avery from Blue Raider Baseball at Woodbridge School District, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Inside.